Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Superstar SEO Q&A number 10, the candy bar edition. This is also day number 19 in the Superstar SEO 30 videos and 30 day challenge. Today is November 3rd, 2017. These questions were submitted in my Facebook group at superstarseo.com slash Facebook, or you can join at by just searching Superstar SEO or Superstar SEO on Facebook if you'd like to have your questions answered as well, as well as get some free candy bars. Not really. So my name is Chris Sun Walker. I will be your host for this afternoon. Without further ado, let's jump right into the first question. So you wanna be a rock superstar and live large, big house, five cars, you're in charge. Question number one comes from Bernard. He says, which app can I use to send people page like request in my Facebook group to like my new page? So you have a group and you want the people in that group to like your page. I don't think you can automate that at all. I think that you can just make a post in the group and ask people to like your page. Uh, beyond that, I don't know of any tool that would automate that. And I think you'd probably get better results by just manually doing it anyway. So if, if that wasn't your question, I apologize, but that's how I read it. So if you need me to clear, if you can clear that up in the group, if I answered it wrong, let me know. Next question comes from Rahul. It's a long one. It says, I want links to rank my sites, but link packages on Fiverr are crap. But at the same time, I don't like making links manually. How do I get manually made links, quality over quantity for cheap? Any way to outsource it? I really need to find a way as I can't buy expensive packages, thanks. I've made a complete action plan for link building. I have handpicked all the sites like Quora, Imgur, Yahoo Answer, a ton more, but I'm too distracted to make links myself. Every time to go out, I go out to make links, I get lost and waste hours. That's why I need to find a way to get my plan executed cheaply. Okay, so you're talking about foundational white hat links like the ones you mentioned and some other ones. If you don't, I don't know the. There are some good vendors on Conquer, and there will be some on Legit when it launches soon. But I don't, I don't know if I have one that does exactly what you're looking for. But what I would do in your situation is, it's if you know what you want, I'd make a few training videos on how to go about doing it, and then just hire a VA off of Upwork or OnlineJobs.ph. You can also ask in the group if anybody knows of any good recommendations for services that will do that. But my, I'm thinking that it seems like you have a particular set of things that you want. So what I would do is make some training videos and hire somebody to do it for you. So hopefully that helps. Next question comes from Sinead. And again, this is a global apology. If I get anybody's name wrong, I'm doing my best. So please forgive me. Sinead says, affiliate niche review, new website, six month old domain, no previous content. Q number one, question number one, list your short steps that you would take to gain organic traffic and start earning commissions. Question number two, I know when you have a Facebook page with big following, it's easier to grow, but when you make a new Facebook page, do you have any tips on how to get following except boost with Facebook ads? Okay, so to get organic traffic, and I assume by organic traffic, you don't mean necessarily search traffic, but just non-paid traffic. Um, if you want non-paid traffic, it's, you're going to hate this, but you just got to keep adding links and content until it ranks. I mean, I don't have specific steps. Just get it ranking. If you have some money, you can obviously send some Facebook ads and that sort of thing to it, or maybe buy some, uh, uh, what do you call them, solo ads. But it's really just going to have to have patience. Just keep linking to it, get it ranked, and get it on, out on social media, you know, Twitter, Facebook. Instagram, if it's appropriate for Instagram, YouTube, that sort of thing. And to grow a page, you, honestly, I wouldn't put a lot of effort into growing a page. I would put more into groups. Pages, Facebook has really killed the reach that pages get. So unless you get like millions and millions of, that sound like The Rock, right? Millions and millions of followers, you, uh, it's going to take a long time for a page to be worth your time. In most niches, especially for what a niche review site, I'm thinking it's probably not worth your effort. So hopefully that answers that. Next question comes from Trevor. What are your most effective gigs for boosting, promoting mass page, rank in red sites? I would just grab a, I would pick certain pages that you want to rank as well as the home page, And I would just grab a PBN package from Malianot or somebody else good on uh, Conquer or Legit or something like that. Like there are some gigs where you can get like 25 of them for 50, 60 bucks. 
that's probably what I would start with. But for the most part, the point of a mass page site is that it's going to rank all on the, the authority that you create off of it when you create thousands of pages. So I would do that, and then I would I would have IFTTT syndication set up. But as far as like to power up certain ones, to rank certain ones, just get PBN links, like a nice package of PBN links from somewhere. So there's some, uh, if you're looking for specifics, all the ones I recommend are in the file section in the group. So hopefully that'll help. Alan says, since it was just Halloween, what's your favorite candy bar? You know, I bounce back and forth, but for the most part, I'm going to say Twix because you get two of them. And also, what tools do you use for link outreach? I don't do a ton of link outreach, and when I do, I have somebody else do it for me. So I, I don't know that I can really answer that. I've always heard good things about Ninja outreach, but the truth is, if I were to do it myself, I would probably just do it manually with advanced search operators like Write For Us and get get a post here stuff like that so hopefully that makes sense next question is sandeep ppc to a landing page to generate leads for web design or seo effective any best practices yeah i mean it's absolutely effective i would just like you said uh just create a nice looking landing page explains your services explains maybe maybe give them some sort of bait that you can give them for free or very cheap to get them to give up their contact information and go from there uh best practices just whatever that particular ad network requires as far as compliance. So hopefully that makes sense. Next question comes from Mike. What is your go-to gig for pillow links? Thanks. Uh, that same one I just mentioned works really well because you get, what I do is I, I buy like a package of 25 PBN links, but I use just the 12 URL variations for the anchors. So you're getting 12, or excuse me, 25 powerful URL anchors and that and then there's uh stuff where you can get like google custom map citations and social profiles those are probably the best ones for that sort of thing assuming that's what you mean by pillow links so hopefully that makes sense next question comes from grant another long one for google maps i've noticed that the three closest services are popping up when it's near my service i rank great but otherwise it's nowhere to be seen this doesn't apply just just apply for me this happens for competitors too google appears to be just choosing the three closest businesses and putting them at the top of the maps. Can this be overcome? What would you recommend to do this? Okay, so I have a feeling this is gonna be the future of Google Maps. I don't have anything to support that other than just opinion, but my feeling is that eventually that we're just gonna have to learn to deal with that. For now, what you can try doing is putting in driving directions in your Google Maps citations and in your actual citations. I've heard that that helps some. I haven't seen evidence of that, but for now, that would be the only way I know to go about combating it. Because, But as Google gets smarter about learning where you are, I think we're going to have to see that more and more. So I, I don't have a good answer for you beyond that. So sorry about that. Next question, Neil asks, do you create citations for affiliate sites? If so, do you just make up a fake address? I've done that a couple times, and that's what I did was make a fake address. It's not necessarily necessary, but you know they're nice links and they can help so yeah just make up a fake address next question is from ishmar he says how many pbns do you have and how do you split them up through different hosts what are you currently spending on your pbn network per month okay so some of that's a little private and i'm not going to get into how many i have i have quite a bit and as far as how much i'm spending again that's kind of proprietary information how do i split them up through different hosts the main things i use are I use a little bit of IP network still, but I've moved most of mine over to Easy Blog Networks. That way, it's they're pretty well protected as far as identity and stuff. And so I basically go between the two of them, just whichever the mood strikes me. Both of those are pretty safe. So Easy Blog Networks is the one, main one I recommend, and then from there, IP networks. So, but there are some others that I have in there as well. So hopefully that helps. Next question comes from Scrikanta. Scrikanta. What do you do to be highly productive and focused throughout the day? Uh, you know, to be honest, I wish I was better at this. There are some supplements you can take that'll give you like a slight boost, but truth be told, it's just enjoying what you do. You know what I mean? Like if you have tasks that you really want to get done, you'll focus on those. So that helps. I find that working from home, it's important to have a space that's just work. So you don't want to work and relax in the same space that way your brain you trick your brain into thinking that to knowing when you're at work and when you're not same thing goes for like i get dressed for the day like a lot of people that work from home just work in 
your you know what not their sleeping clothes but like just around the house clothes i try to get dressed as if i were at a job again that's kind of a hack that like tells my brain that i'm in work mode that helps a little bit um that's really about it just have a set of tasks that you want to knock out for the week and for the day and just line them up and knock them down like i'm not as good at this as some people and i'm not going to give you like a bunch of nonsense about how you meditate and you put butter in your coffee and all that stuff I do take some supplements that help with that, but they also have other reasons or other reasons that I take them. So I'm not going to get into that too much. Plus, I'm not really qualified to comment on that sort of thing. But I don't know. That's the main things I do. Hopefully, that helps some. Next question comes from Derek. Derek says, What's your favorite Lightbox plugin? Source CCS pre- seems pretty dated. Also, do you have any experience getting past a surgeon's gatekeeper? It seems as though all the freelancers on Fiverr and Upwork don't cold call doctors. Should I try cold calling cold email with scope leads? Uh, the first question, I still use Source CCS and don't have a ton of problems with it. Lately, there have been some issues logging in, but I think that's going to be solved soon. Um, what's the other one? SCM Easy Double Agent. That works pretty well for some people. And there's a free one you can ask in my group that a guy named Alan Leanhouse has that out as well. Although it's... It only does certain things, but it's free and it works well for certain situations. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I haven't ever worked with surgeons, so I can't specifically tell you. I didn't even know you could hire cold callers on Fiverr and Upwork. So, well, I knew on Upwork, but not Fiverr. So there's that. Um, yeah, it's probably worth a shot at scope leads. You're going to get turned down more than than you're going to get picked up. But, I mean, it's so automated, there's almost no reason not to do it. So I would say give it a call or give it a shot. But I haven't worked specifically with surgeons, so I, I can't really advise you on anything specific there. So, Next question comes from Hunter. Hunter says, hey man, I'm getting fed up with how unorganized these other platforms are. I got a killer service to launch. What's the status of Legit? Well, I'm glad you asked. I just spoke with the developer this morning. We have a nice plan put together about, when, about the last few details we need to hammer out. And we're going to do a soft launch for some sellers in the very near future, sellers and buyers in the very near future. So I'll be reaching out to you and to some other people to help get that going. If you don't know what he's talking about, Legit is the new online marketplace that we're going to be launching. It's going to revolutionize the way you do freelancing, sell digital project products and services, and really turn it into a full-time income or and as well as a great buying experience. So... It's really going to be better than anything that's out there right now. And full disclosure, I own it and found it. So there is that. But I'm looking forward to it. And you guys should be looking forward to it too. And I'll drop a link where you can sign up to uh, to get early bird access to it. So hopefully that, uh, hopefully that answers that. Next question comes from... This is actually from Preben. I forgot to change the name. It still says Hunter, but it's from Preben. It says, do you use any kind of link indexer? Yes. If I have just like one link to index... I use the Google Search Console, which you can, uh, there's a video on this channel about how to do that. But if I'd have bulk ones, SERPT has the best indexer that I've ever used. You, <clears throat> I think you can take like 100 or so at a time, you stick them in there, click the button, and usually within a minute or two, they're all indexed. So yeah, SERPT.net. And I'll leave the link to that in the comments as well. So hopefully that makes sense. Next question comes from Sam. How do you do organic social media marketing? any tools to automate okay so the first answer is the best organic social media marketing is not to automate it like i mean you could make a case that that's what i've done here with my youtube and my facebook group is that i'm doing social media marketing although really i'm just it's just something to put content out there and what have you but if you want to automate just like daily content and for like a, a local business or something like that you can use a program called Q Q U U U dot I want to say it's dot com and buffer and that'll put content out there for you. There's a service called ninety nine dollar social. You can use them. They'll they'll manage it for you. Uh, those are probably the main ones. Hootsuite, I, everyone likes. I've played with it before and I think it's terrible, but that's just me. Um, that's kind of what I would do. But you're gonna get the best results when you do it manually and you actually create a personality and that sort of thing. So. Hopefully that answers that. Next question is, do you personally do any link building for clients slash affiliate sites, or is it mainly outsourced to VAs? Also, what is your go-to service for site content? Thanks, Stud. Oh, that'll be a winner, all right. Yeah. I'm not sure the referee's going to be conscious. Come on, Stud! Because he's going to... 
Um, yeah, I still do some of my clients' PBN link building. In fact, that's kind of, I mean, I, there's a little bit of that I outsource, but for the most part, I do it myself because I kind of feel like that's what they're paying for me, paying for. But I am getting to where I do less and less of the day-to-day, that sort of work myself, just because I don't have the time anymore. Um, go-to service for site content. Like, I need articles, and then if you look in the file section, there's some a couple different, there's a copy gig that's in there, as well as a content gig from a guy named Saeed that's in there as well. So both of those are, are very good. Um, yeah, so hopefully that answers that. Next question is from Eric. Since statistics say most people are using their phones to search the internet, are r and videos still a, and by r and he means rank and rent, video is still a viable income generator since they don't show up on phones like they do on a desktop. Yeah, absolutely. I I was never a big proponent of it using it. Let me let me, just, let me start over. I've always said that that stat is overrated. Not overrated, but overstated. That plenty of people still search via desktop. Um, people that are going to be looking for the kind of service that you sell a rank and rent video to are still going to be looking on a desktop more likely anyway. So yeah, I still do it. I mean, I still I don't really add any new clients to it anymore just because I'm doing other things, but I still have clients that, I sell, that I've been on Rank and Rent videos for a long time. It still make me money every month. Uh, I think it's still worth it. It's so easy to do. If you, What you may have to do is change the angle that you take on it and use it as a, like, say, say it's more about taking up space on the first page, because even on mobile, it still shows up. It just does that carousel thing where it shows several videos. So... I would use it as more of a we're getting you real estate on the first page kind of thing and you can and it may get you a lead or two here and there and it's also a great and this is a separate thing now and it's also a great way to get your foot in the door to sell other services whether it's social media seo web design whatever so yeah i think it's still worth the time so you just gotta kind of adapt your pitch a little bit so hopefully that makes sense next question comes from randy he says what's the fastest way you can make a hundred dollars a day passive the real answer is there isn't one there's no such thing as passive income, but if you're asking what's the quickest way with the least amount of work, um, probably doing product reviews on YouTube would be my guess. Is you just set up a channel to review certain types of products or pro product reviews in general. Just buy them yourself or get them to give them to you and just do a, re a review channel. And if you can get, find one that costs you know, 50, that makes you 50 to hundred dollars commission. And you could do a CPC product as well. Uh, just do that. That's probably the fastest way to do it. And that will be an asset that's there forever. So that's probably the best answer I can give to the fastest way to get passive money, but really passive money isn't, isn't really a thing. So hopefully that answers that next question comes from Kirill. What actually, what's actually considered duplicate content? Nothing. Next question comes from, also from Kirill. I know you love these questions. How many exact match anchors could I potentially get away with at first before needing to mix it up? Uh, keep adding them until they don't work anymore. That's, the, that's the, my answer to that is you keep adding them and once they stop moving the needle, then you probably need to work in some other things. So hopefully that answers that. Next question comes from Chris. When you first started your SEO agency, what are some of the mistakes you made? And what advice would you give yourself back then if you had the chance? Um, mistakes, probably not focusing enough on getting clients or focus, spending too much time on methods that didn't work and being afraid to spend money and do ads and stuff. Ads work really, really well, despite what some of the top SEOs, quote unquote, gurus in the industry will say. That, that you can use paid ads to get clients really effectively. The only reason that, that, that those particular people don't can't make it work is because they aren't smart enough to understand paid, paid traffic well. So don't listen to people that tell you you can't get SEO clients with paid ads because you do, I do it. And that's probably what I would tell my younger self is that, that <clears throat> to start spending money sooner to get uh, people into your funnel and start selling them. So. Don't be afraid to spend money, I guess is probably the answer in a nutshell. So hopefully that answers that. And, and that's our last question of the day. 
If you want to get your question answered in a video just like this next week, you can join us at superstarseo.group, or you can just go to Facebook and search Superstar SEO, or you can go to superstarseo.com slash Facebook. I've given you many ways possible to come join me. If you'd like to sign up to be notified when the new revolutionary online marketplace is legit is going to be launched, which is very soon, you don't want to miss out on the founder founding being a founding member. You can file you can sign up to be notified there at legit.com, L-E-G-I-I-T.com. And if you like videos like this, and why wouldn't you? And you'd like to see them more often, you can subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below this video and then clicking the notification bell. Or if you want to do it in a simple one click, you can go to superstarseo.tv and then share that link with your friends. This is again Chris M. Walker of Superstar SEO and Legit. I've enjoyed answering your questions and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and forever. Have a great weekend.